Uh, my name is Kelly Gollidge and this is a uh, brief discussion um, for the Lion Challenge of Task 4.4 um, in regards to um, discussing with the clients um, any modifications that I intend to make to the program, informing them of the relationship between healthy eating, exercise and health in a way that identifies at least one area that they can improve on and reviewing their short, short and long term goals. Okay, so um, as we progress through the program over the coming weeks, I'm going to be increasing the intensity of the sessions by having the clients increase their weights and adding more challenging options. For example, for assisted pull-ups, we'll be aiming to form these without the resistance band or without standing on a stool or a step or using the machine. Uh, we're gonna aim at uh, being able to do a pull-up um, with just our body weight. Um, I want to also take some time to focus on the client's mindset um, by including some meditation activities for them to perform at home um, of an evening before going to bed. Um, I feel that as our daily lives can bring us unexpected battles, um, some twists and turns, I want to give them the tools to be able to deal with those in a more healthier and safer way as opposed to um, emotional eating or any of that sort of stuff or choosing not to do a workout. So some meditation for that. Uh, we may also look at including um, a brief, uh, very simple food diary each week for some homework um, to ensure the clients are including all um, of the necessary healthy eating habits um, that's going to enable them to reach their goal. Okay, so it won't be anything too detailed. It will just be a brief uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner, snacks, uh, water consumption, and their exercise for the day in a very brief format just to so that they can see and look back at any unhealthy eating habits and usually when you see it um, in front of you it can make it a bit more real and it will see where they may be needing to improve on in their diet. Um, if you're not eating a nutritious diet then this will reflect in the performance in workouts. Uh, our bodies need a healthy diet to fuel our bodies and give us that energy and focus during our sessions um, and able to perform at its best. So in accordance to the Healthy Eating for Diet Adults document, um, I've given the clients, um, they'll see some tips for choosing nutritious foods and drinks and those foods that are high in sugar and fat foods that they should be aiming to limit in their diet. Um, as the clients progress through the program, they'll notice that their dietary needs may slightly change to adapt to their new training program. So they may need um, to increase certain types of foods to be able to maintain that energy level throughout their diets. But this will be something we can monitor throughout their program. And it will be looked into more detail with some recommendations by an accredited nutritionist. Uh, reflecting back on the short and long-term goals that the clients set at the initial consultations, uh, we'll base our first couple of months of programming around getting them familiar with the exercises and the environment, um, getting them comfortable with performing the exercises and um, establishing what's going to work for them and what exercise, exercises they enjoy. Um, we want them looking forward to attending their sessions, we don't want them turning up or not uh, and not wanting to do it um, really unmotivated or worst case scenario not turning up at all so I want to be able to see what works for them what fits into their um, lifestyle and how we can make it um, the most enjoyable for them so France has had a month of no exercise uh, her short, uh, his short term goal is to lose 8 kilos in 10 weeks so what we need to do is focus on the nutrition as well as the exercising. As it is quite a short time frame to lose a large amount of weight, I will suggest um, Franz to see a dietitian who can develop a specific meal plan um, to complement the uh, exercise regime in assisting Franz reach his goal. Uh, the long term goal is to keep that weight off, um, so this will come in hand with committing to the diet and exercise regime even after the 10 weeks and after the eight kilos is lost. So Faith has a special occasion coming up and wants to car drop a couple of dress sizes for this. Um, we will also get some assistance from a dietitian to help with a meal plan. They'll be able to offer some alternative to sweetness for the coffee because she has so much coffee, uh, the, the three cups per day, and the sugars in that. So 
a dietitian could assist in offering some alternatives to that. Um, long term, she'd like to uh, keep the weight off and this will also come with committing to the diet and exercise program um, even after her school reunion. Fergus um, had gave up smoking six months ago. Um, it's been six months which is a wonderful achievement and definitely a positive step in getting to a fitter and healthier um, Fergus. Uh, his main goal is to get ripped for summer. So seeing as he's already quite fit and active, what we'll be looking at for him is some conditioning with some resistance training. Uh, a dietitian would be a good idea for him to receive diet specific ideas regarding the reducing of the body fat in order to um, achieve that toned and ripped look that he's looking for. Uh, Felicity. Uh, her goal is losing five to six kilos over the next few months and is definitely achievable uh, because she loves working out um, and she will also be able to achieve this through a mix of cardio and resistance training. Um, it's great that she enjoys the exercising with others, others as this um, is a really great mood booster and confidence booster for herself and others in the group and will also help with motivation um, with the training. So um, I suggest meeting um, Felicity meeting with a psychologist and nutritionist um, in regards to the emotional eating. So she, um, she needs to mentally come over that barrier um, in order to not think of food as a comfort um, uh, that can help find out the trigger for the emotional eating and possibly some alternatives to the chocolate. Um, her body may be lacking in something, hence why she's eating the chocolate and so much of it. Um, and even when she's already eaten, say, dinner or something, and she's sitting down to watch TV, she's still um, snacking on that. So find out what the trigger is for that. Um, if it's just out of boredom, some alternatives. Um, and we can also yeah, look at ways at reducing the need to eat, eat whilst watching TV. So if it is out of boredom, then what's um, an alternative? To say maybe some, if it's the sugar, then maybe a piece of fruit or maybe meal prepping some healthy snacks um, to eat at that time. Uh, reducing the consumption of chocolate will help with her mood levels and productivity um, throughout her day also because um, she does have that lack of self-worth and wanting to make herself proud. So that um, dropping that sugar level will help with her mood boosters. So I hope all of this sounds good for the clients and I look forward to joining them on their health and wellness journey. Thank you.